Valen Stefani, what a story. He's a big boy, but he runs like the wind. And what a place to make his first great debut. A little bit of subtlety. Stefani shakes on the air. It was for Valence Stefani. Double two tries on debut as the Dolphins beat the Sharks 36 to 16. And someone who was watching it all <coughs> unfold from the coach's box, Sean O'Sullivan, joins us live here on the Sunday Footy Show. I've got to ask you, first of all, great to have you on, but what was it like in the coach's box for Wayne and his 900th Premiership game in charge? Yeah, it was pretty good, you know. Um, being able to witness history is um, pretty special. And yeah, Wayne was. Um, up to his best as usual, you know, he, he had a good captain's run speech for all the boys and he let everyone know that he was he was feeling himself this week. So he um yeah, he was in fine form and um yeah he, he was good and calm as always. What um, what was his speech, his captain's run speech? <laughs> oh he's just funny, hey, he's just kinda I think he kinda knew that the boys were kind of ready for this game. He he wasn't really happy with last week, so he kinda got into the boys. Um, early on in the week and then captain's run I think he, he realized that he wanted to you know give boys a lot of confidence that he was um, he was confident that we could get the win so had a few jokes in there and um, just kind of made people feel happy they, they say your performance is a reflection of your preparation take us into to the week itself how did you prepare you were coming up against you know the red hot sharks um, you got Nico Hines who's in, in great form how was the preparation this week? Yeah, I think um, we honestly went back to basics. You know, he um, Wayne let us know that he, you know, it wasn't acceptable what we did uh, against the Raiders, and we can't, you know, keep playing one half of footy and um, not playing the other half. So he really wanted us to get back to what what Plan A is for the Dolphins, and you know what playing in a Dolphins jersey looks like. So I think you know you showed um, that we played an 80-minute performance, and Wayne was just really happy with that. And you know it wasn't perfect and it wasn't pretty, but you know, he just wants effort and um, he just wants you to always do your best and stick to what, you know, works for you. You're out with a torn pec. When are you back? Um, hopefully against uh, the Broncos. Everything's going really well. Um, the performance staff have been unbelievable for me, so I'm starting to ramp things up for me now, so it's going good. Um, you've been around footy all your life, Sean. Really smart halfback. One of the smartest <laughs> I've been you. involved with. <laughs> How much coaching are you doing now with you being off? Are you helping, putting some detail into the half? Yeah, you know, I think, um, you know, I'm really uh, trying to just help out where I can. You know, we, um, uh, Izzy and um, Cody Nikarima have been doing a wonderful job for us, and Milf came on in the second half, and, um, tried to um, you know re play really well but he um, you know we're just trying to really build our game and build what 80 minutes looks like you know I think we're trying to realize you know how to get momentum back when we're losing it and how to keep momentum so I think you you know you saw that we took a really big step last night I think Milf had two really good early kicks to kind of keep the momentum mm. on them and um, then we saw Izzy you know have another early kick so I think we just got to recognize when we've got momentum and how to keep going at it so that's the main thing. How's Izzy? What's, you know, Joey just spoke about you've always been a student of the who, game. Tell, tell us about who him. Izzy, who Izzy is first, people wouldn't know. Um, Isaiah Katoa. And, um, yeah, he's, uh, he's a student of the game. You know, he's, he's really calm and collected. And, you know, he knows that he's got a lot of growth um, into, you know, what he's trying to do and what he's trying to build. And, you know, we're going to be really patient with him. And, you know, we know that it's baby steps. And, you know, he's learning through good experiences and bad experiences, which we all have to do. But um, he's head down, ass up, and uh, he's working really hard at his craft. Half of 5'8", moving forward. I think, you know, it doesn't... I don't think it really matters. Like, you know, he's playing seven now. And, um, you know, if, if I come back and, you know, we play together, I don't think... I think we're both smart enough to realise that we can play with each other and, um, you know, whoever it is um, in, in the spine because Cody Nicarima has, has been going unbelievable mm. for us. He's, uh, his touches and the way that he's bringing Connolly uh, Lemmy Lemu in through the game is, is unbelievable. And I think Cons is going to be a, a, a really good player for us in the future. Everyone's had their opinion and their prediction on what the Dolphins would do this year. How does that sit with the playing group? Because it hasn't exactly been favourable, but... Uh, you've certainly changed their opinions in, in some people. Yeah, you know, I think um, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. And, you know, for us, it was 
it was so new, so we didn't want to put a ceiling on anything, you know. Wayne always said to us that, you know, we just want to get better every single day and we want to find our identity of our team and that's by competing and, and executing plays. So, you know, we understand we're not where we need to be and, you know, where we want to be, but as long as we keep putting in effort and we keep just trying hard and not really listen to the outside noise as, you know, we're getting a little bit of praise now or, you know, things aren't going too good, just stay level-headed and Wayne's the right man for that. You mentioned earlier a couple of early kicks in the second half and, and that was something that I noticed watching the game. It, to do that, you've got to have a fit football team. It must have been a big pre-season for you. Yeah, it was. Um, Wayne kind of let us know at the start that, you know, he expects us to be fit and to compete on everything. And, you know, what uh, exemplifies that is Tom Gilbert. You know, he um, the way that he ripped into pre-season, him and Ray Stone was uh, unbelievable. You know, Stoney... Um, was I think it was seven months off a of knee Rico. Probably shouldn't have even been doing an army camp and here he is doing an army camp leading by the front. Him and Gilbert, you know, they don't want to lose against each other. Um so they really set the platform on that and uh yeah Jeremy Hickman's our high performance manager was unbelievable for us and yeah it was really good, you know, they got the balance right, that's for sure. What about um Valance to Fade making his debut uh, last night. Tell us a little bit about him because he's got quite an interesting story. He was only recently playing rugby union and then was a groundskeeper uh, for the Dolphins. Yeah, Val, he's a character. Hey, um, you might have to get him up here one day. <laughs> He'll make you laugh. But um, he, um, you know, he's worked really hard. You know, he, um, yeah, last night was obviously a really good performance for him and he knows that he's still got a long way to go. But, you know, he's a powerful bloke through the hips and, you know, it's probably going to take more than one person to bring him down, as you can see in that clip but you know he um he's a you know, special talent but you know he's put in a lot of work i think his girlfriend has just moved down too from new zealand so he's starting to get a little bit of familiarity about you know um queensland and living in redcliffe so yeah hopefully he just keeps going well and keeps his head down and yeah you're talking about being in the box with wayne and they're all good moments last night but what about when jennings hit the ground a couple of weeks ago and just did a move what was going on there firstly and what did the coach have to say? Honestly, one thing that I've learnt with um, Wayne is he's never too high and he's never too low. You know, he um, he's just so calm, hey, and I think that reflects on us as a football team. So even in the coaching box, he, he doesn't flinch. He um, He's just calm and, you know, if something doesn't go to plan or if something doesn't go to the way that we envision it, he's just a next job um, guy and, you know, he doesn't really like to kick people when they're down or he doesn't really, you know, like to actually give people praise when they're do doing too well. So he um, he's just so calm and, um, yeah, he um, he's a, yeah, he's so good to be around. Can you tell us, tell us like what is going on in the coach's box when, when things like that are happening? Does he say much? Is it, is it a tense environment? No, it's, it's not tense at all. You know, he, he was, um, he just kind of, you know, we'll, we'll say a little joke here and there or, you know, he'll send a little clear message out to someone if, if they need something. But he honestly likes to keep things simple and he likes to keep things, um, giving players, you know, really clear message and, um, that's something that I think he's, he's doing really well with us. He's just he's building us into being an 80-minute team. And, yeah, he's, uh, he's very clear with everything and never too high, never too low. All right. Well, um, it is great to see the Dolphins flying high. We're looking forward to seeing you back in action uh, when you take on the Broncos. You've got that one circled mm. on the calendar.